Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this soap saver pouch. So it's 100% cotton. It's basically like an inside out loofah. So you just take your bar of soap and you're going to put it inside your soap saver pouch. Pull the drawstring closed and you just wet it under the water and you go ahead and start washing. It's basically, like I said, it's like an inside out loofah because normally with a loofah, which I love those too, I've got patterns for loofahs in here as well. Um, but with a loofah, you're gonna put the, that's for body wash users, right? If you like to use body wash, you put it on the loofah and you go ahead and wash and it's great. It's gentle exfoliation. And um, the soap saver pouch is kind of like that for people who like to use bar soap instead of body wash. So you put the bar of soap inside. As I said, this material is 100% cotton um, and it, it does offer, it's very soft um, and offers a gentle exfoliation. And it's a constant lather, which I personally love. So you wet it under the water and you're just gonna keep, you're gonna go ahead and wash. And you can just take your bar of soap out, throw this in the washing machine. It's completely uh, washer machine, dryer safe. Um, and so it keeps it nice and clean, it's reusable. Um, and you get every bit of use out of your bar of soap. So I love this. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make this um, crochet soap saver that I've got here. Let's go ahead and get started. So you're gonna need, um, this is great for a scrap yarn project as well. As you can see, it's not a brand new um, skein of cotton yarn that I've got here, but it's 100% cotton yarn. Um, five millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and make your starting loop. Get that on your hook. And we're gonna go ahead and chain 14. So you're gonna yarn over and pull the loop right through your hook. The Sorry, pull the yarn right through the loop on your hook. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we're gonna double crochet into the third chain from the hook. All right, so to make your double crochet, you're gonna yarn over your hook and we're gonna go into that third chain from the hook. So one, two, three, you're gonna push your hook through that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, oops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And we're going to go ahead and repeat that into that next chain, yarn over, push your hook through the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. So we're going to go ahead and continue that on all the way down, just working at one double crochet into every single chain all the way down the row. And because we started working into the third chain from the hook. By the time that you get to the end of this row, you should have a total of 12 stitches. I also just want to mention while we're working our row here um, that you can find the written pattern as well. Um, there's a link to the written pattern which is available uh, for a low cost on my Etsy shop. That link is in the description below. As well, if you need any of the products, um, any, sorry, any of the materials, to make this pattern. Um, I do include some links there as well. So you can order them and have them ship right to your door if you need any of them and don't have a craft store close by. All right, so now we're at the end. Okay. We're gonna chain two and turn our work. And now we're just gonna go ahead and work one double crochet into every single stitch all the way down the row. Okay, again, you should have 12 stitches in total by the time that you get to the end of the row because we started right in the very first stitch of this row. All right, so you're just gonna go ahead and keep on working one double crochet all the way down when you get to the end, you're gonna chain two and turn your work. And then you're gonna go ahead and um, after you complete this row, you're gonna repeat these steps for 16 more. So you should have 18 rows of double crochet in total and then come back. 
Okay, so now that you've finished those rows, you're gonna take your work, fold it in half, okay? Line up your edges here so it's even on both sides. And we're just gonna connect a seam, slip stitching down the side. Okay, so did you see how I did that? You're just gonna push your hook through one side. Make sure you're getting it through both sides because we wanna connect it. Yarn over and just pull right through both, right through that loop, okay? That's a slip stitch. So you're just gonna go ahead and slip stitch all the way down. It's a little awkward because you're not working in stitches, you're working along the side of your work, but go ahead and slip stitch all the way down and then come back. Okay, so now that you've gone all the way down, you're just gonna go ahead and pull a little bit up here, grab your scissors and fasten that off. All right, and to hide this tail end, you're just gonna take your yarn needle, thread your yarn needle, and you're just gonna weave it in and out of some of the stitches, because right now your work is inside out. So just make sure with all your tail ends that you're doing that, weave it in and out, fasten it off. Now we're gonna come over here to the other side. And instead of going down, we're actually gonna reattach our yarn here and we're gonna slip stitch all the way up. Okay, so to reattach your yarn, you're just gonna push your hook in the bottom here. Whoop. I know, again, it's a little bit awkward. Okay, so get your hook in the bottom there. You're gonna find your yarn and here, make a new starting loop and get that onto your hook. Pull it right through and chain one, okay? Now, you're gonna go ahead and same thing on this side. You're just gonna slip stitch all the way up till you get here and then come back. Do not fasten it off. Okay, so now that you're here at the top, we're gonna to chain 25. So one, two, oops, three, four, five. Go ahead until you have a chain of 25 and then come back. Once you finish that chain 25, you're just gonna pull up a little bit there, fasten it off. Okay, pull that bit through. And now we're gonna go down here to back at the very bottom of that same chain where we were making our chain of 25. So you could just push your hook right through that very bottom chain. And you're just gonna go ahead and reattach your yarn at the bottom of that chain. So make another little starting loop reattach your yarn and you're going to chain 25 again okay go ahead to get to 25 and then come back okay you're just going to go ahead and pull a little bit up fasten that off okay can make that a little bit shorter there at the ends. Where's that other chain of mine? Okay. So right now your bag is inside out. Of course, you're gonna use your yarn needle and hide all those tail ends. You're gonna weave them in and out. But I'm gonna show you this next step. You're just gonna flip your work around so it's not inside out anymore. All right. And now working your drawstrings. So this one is gonna to go to the halfway point and this one's for the other halfway point. You're just gonna push them in and out of the stitches along that opening, literally just like that. Oops. Weaving them in and out. Just pushing that little knot. It's pretty simple to go ahead and do that. It's just a little bit tricky when it gets to, there we go. All right, and just make sure that you only go to the halfway point because then you got to do the other string from the other side. And there, see? And now you're gonna do the same thing with this string from that side and you're gonna have your finished pouch like this where you can pull it put your soap in pull it closed 
And that's how you do your crochet soap saver.